three goals, a lot more chances though. What do you think of the game? I told you we were outstanding uh, from minute one all the way through to minute 101 or wherever it was. So I told you we had a fantastic performance. Uh, we were relentless. I've been asking the players, can we be more relentless when we're not play? Um, and with so many great opportunities. The great thing for us is we're creating opportunities. The only game where we haven't created opportunities this year is dagging them away. So in every game we created so many chances, double figures nearly in every game. So that's a good positive. And I thought today we kept out a good side, by the way. They're free scoring. Uh, with Cranshaw, Justin Alizuma, uh, Dior Angus, they got good players, Con Clark. So to keep them out really pleasing. I can't really remember them having a chance chance. Uh, maybe there was a couple really couple of efforts from distance. Um, and we had so many great chances and some brilliant play, free flowing play. Um, so all in all it's a brilliant performance and a great victory. On well, towards the end of the game, I heard you saying oh, we want more goals when Laurie had the ball there. Does that sort of sum up the mentality you want around the club? We have to. We have to. If we're going to be, if we're raising the bar this year, you know, and we're going after the likes of Chesterfield and that, we're going to have to do that. Um, there's a lot of expectation at the football club now, so it's been raised. We've got to be able to manage that. And the players so far have done that 90% of the time, so I'd like us to be more ruthless because we missed some great chances today. But the great thing I always say about football, if you're creating chances, you're in a good place. Um, and eventually the floodgates will open against somebody. And um, we just got to make sure we stay focused in the old boxing saying we just got to keep our guard up, respect all the opposition. So that was the start of eight games in five weeks. So good start to it. So let's see how we get on next week at Rochdale. How hard is it to push the players as much as you can, but to also maintain their confidence? We have to. We've got good enough players this year. I wouldn't have done this last year to the group last year. I didn't think we were a strong enough group. So I've said that to them in pre-season. I said that the week before the season start. I'm going to be on you much firmer this year. Um, I felt we were still developing the group, the squad. Um, this year, I think, you know, so far we've been the real deal so can we maintain it can we sustain it I think there's 28 games to go we know we're going to have a tough time that's guaranteed that happens in this business we'll see how we come out of that um, but the key to it is just taking one game at a time the players just keep doing what they're good at they keep going to the line they keep giving their all they're representing their family name their heritage that's why I always say to them it's so important because football is an individual business my job is to bring everybody together and just like today our supporters how good were they amazing great treat for them today I thought Brunty's goal was just absolute incredible team goal Especially when we were knocking on the door so much and missing so many great chances, we were thinking, is it going to be one of them days? So our mentality was strong today. Danny Collins, she got a goal and an assist. How good is it for the team to have a centre back who, can, who has that much freedom? Yeah, Danny's a player we believed in. We signed him from Dover. Um, we see his, you know, he, he come off the back of conceding over 100 goals at Dover, but we see his attributes. Great character, he's a leader, a real leader. He's grown into a leader. It's only his second year with us. Um, but big player for us, and uh, he's evolved into sort of a, a captain figure within our group. So we've got several senior players, and he's one of them now. And then on that penalty, how does the decision making system work? Do they decide on the pitch whoever's the most confident? Or no, no, it's, it's right before the game. Pritchard's on penalties, he scored the penalties last year, so. We'll make a decision whether we keep them on or not. But more than likely, they'll probably keep them on penalties. It's unbelievable for us, Pritch. He's just going through one of them sticky spells in front of the goal. He keeps getting in the right areas. He'll score goals, guaranteed. He'll guarantee his double figures this year. I've no doubts whatsoever. And then finally, there's a lot of players who were the stand-up performers. But do you think anyone's performance went under the radar there that had a really good game? I thought Gorman was outstanding. Uh, hard to get once again. Our midfield really controlled the game. Um, Brunt, obviously, is a special talent, a young player. So I thought Laurie did particularly well. Um, nice and safe, nice and solid within his game today. What he had to do, his distribution was good. So, all in all, I thought it was some solid performances. I thought all the three subs made a good impact on the game. They brought so much pace and power. Uh, I think Reese could have had a couple of goals. Marv had a couple of efforts as well where he, where he could have scored. And Idris, obviously, we know. We're just nursing Idris at the minute. He's, he, he's got a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of sort of bone bruising, so we just got to be careful with him so we can't just throw him in the deep end. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers, thanks.